am chilling on the floor, cold calling today. Today we've called eight locations and on the eighth location we got a yes. My tips with cold calling are just to designate the time to make the calls. You wanna be ready to commit to calling numerous locations on the day. You wanna to commit to hearing no's. Today we heard one. Today we heard four no's before we found our yes. Now, had I stopped on the first no, I would have never got to my yes. So, in this video, I'm going to give you guys the five best phrases to use in your next pitch. If you are new to our channel, please take a second, hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit that notification bell so that you know when our next video will drop. Anytime that you are attempting to speak to a manager, owner, or supervisor about placing vending machines or candy machines in their business, you wanna have a well thought out pitch. A pitch is basically your sales communication or your verbiage to convince a decision maker to allow you to place a machine in their business. Key phrase number one, always have a professional introduction. You don't want to just go off with word vomit right away and lecturing the person on the other side. They have no idea you even exist. <laughs> Something as sweet and simple as, my name is Kwani and I'm the owner of Razo Vending LLC. An introduction as professional as this also allows the decision maker to see that you are a reputable business. You do handle yourself professionally. Key phrase number two, share your why or share what your business is about. Be sure to include the name of the location that you're speaking to or the location type during your pitch. That makes it more personalized and it makes it feel like you really want to do business with that location. Here's an example. We are expanding and we would like to offer you a free vending machine for your auto shop. So I was able to share why I'm here. I was able to share what I can provide. And then I also personalized it by adding the type of location that I'm speaking to. Key phrase number three, explain where your machines can fit, where they can go, their dynamics, how big they are, how small they are and what they will provide for the location. For example, our machines can be placed anywhere that is convenient for your customers and staff, and we also offer traditional and healthy snack and drink choices. You were able to let them know where the machine can go, who the machine is for, and what the machine will offer. Key phrase number four. So you want to emphasize all of the benefits the location is going to receive from doing business with you. For example, you want to mention our machines on location will help stop the spread of COVID by keeping your employees and staff on location. Our machines also have credit card readers, which provides multiple paying options for your staff or customer. And to be honest, even if you don't have credit card readers yet, still include it in your pitch. Having a credit card reader on your machine from the jump is not a deal breaker, but the ability to go get a credit card reader after securing the location, very easy. Just don't try to sell yourself too hard <laughs> where you can't keep your word. Key phrase number five, wrap your pitch up by solidifying the next time to speak or, or communicate with the decision maker. Provide your contact information. Bonus tip, be sure if you are not given a time to follow up, to set the time to follow up. By solidifying the next time I will communicate with the business owner, manager, or decision maker, it helps to ensure that our follow up is guaranteed. It helps to ensure that they know I am very serious about placing my machines in the location. Sometimes with locations, guys, you do have to be persistent. You do have to be slightly aggressive because you're not always gonna get a yes. This business is a barbecue joint. We called them today and we got a yes, y'all. Yeah. So exciting to get a yes for our client. Anytime you want to have a candy machine locator, holler at your girls, okay?